So let's start from where we ended in the last video because of the sudden problem with the camera. So this is what I was referring to that uh, no 2 to the power x into 2 to the power y is equal to 2 to the power x plus y and x plus y is uh, additive input and arithmetic progression and then this is some sort of geometric progression and multiplicative output. So addition and multiplication are related in terms of law as well. Using this basic concept, I will try to figure out why this makes sense. Intuition, okay, okay. So if there is some linear movement AP, so the linear movement could take place along the real number line or it could take place along the complex number line. So if it takes place along the complex number line, that means the sliding action will be along the vertical plane. And if it happens in the real number line, that means the sliding action is taking place in the horizontal plane. And that corresponds to some sort of squeezing or stretching of the complex plane and that results in the GP. And because there is some sort of a stretching or squeezing, so quite natural, that means the output is some sort of a arc. So let us assume this number 2 to the power x. And in this case, I am assuming that x is equal to i. So that means I am traveling along the uh, complex uh, line number line in the uh, vertical uh, no there is a vertical slide and this vertical slide result in some sort of an arc and that arc is equivalent to log of 2 in this case similarly if it is 3 to the power x that corresponds to some arc of log 3 if in place of uh, x equal to i, I put i uh, x equal to i square and i square is uh, minus 1. So that becomes 2 to the power minus 1 if base in this case I am assuming to be 2. So 2 to the power minus 1 is half. That means the output I am getting is some sort of a uh, movement along the horizontal plane. Sorry, I am having a lot of distraction. Okay? Because I don't have any proper place to do this video. As you can see here, I am I'm just in some workshop and doing this video. Next is 2 to the power 2x. So that means now 2 to the power 2x and in this case again I'm assuming the value of x to be i. That means x 2i implies in this case that means I have traveled from i to 2i. That means there is a vertical movement of i by 2 units and if i replace this 2 3 or whatever with a different base and in this case i am assuming the base to be e with base 2 the movement i was getting was log of 2 the arc movement with base 3 i was getting log 3 as the arc movement and that means with i am assuming the base to be e in that case it will be log e and that is one as we know because exponential and logarithm are inverse function so that is one so this x now what could be this x now if there is a vertical movement of i by pi units in that case so if in place of x i write e to the power pi i in that case that would correspond to an arc of minus one and that is what exactly it means that means e to the power i pi is equal to minus one so what exactly I'm trying to tell you is there is some sort of a relationship between AP and GP as we know and that the relationship is in the form of uh, log 
and we are considering a case of exponential function or some sort of exponents not function 2 to the power x into 2 to the, into 2 to the power y which turns out to be 2 to the power x plus y or in other words we can say 2 to, the, uh, 2 to the power x plus y is equal to 2 to the power x into 2 to the power y so x plus y is uh, arithmetic progression normal addition and 2 to the power x into 2 to the power y is some multiplication so i'm putting addition sliding action and that sliding action is giving me a stretching action that means a multiplication so sliding action is corresponding to some sort of a stretching action and because of this stretching action we are also getting some sort of rotation and what exactly and how these are related because they are related in terms of log so i am having now giving different value so first is 2 to the power x and x so because i'm i'm trying to figure out if the power happens to be i so that is why in place of x i assume that this x is equivalent to i so 2 to the power i is equivalent to the sliding action of 2 to the power i along the complex line correspond to some arc of log 2 same goes with 3 to the power i log 3 similarly e to the power i is log e which turns out to be 1 and similarly log of well, sorry e to the power pi i will correspond to a movement of pi unit and if there is a movement an arc movement of pi unit that correspond to when if if i'm moving from zero and then i'm moving along the complex plane when the moment when i travel by pi radian i land it up at minus one so that means e to the power i pi is equal to minus one okay thank you hope you understand this next we'll try to look this in the most uh, traditional form okay thank you and wait for the next video